Have you ever wondered how satellites, those silent sentinels in the sky, get there in the first place? Today, we'll pull back the curtain on the awe-inspiring world of rocket launches and satellite deployments. We'll take a deep dive into the science behind these titanic feats of engineering and how they defy Earth's gravity to reach the vast expanse of space. So strap in as we prepare to launch into this exciting exploration. Get ready to ignite your curiosity. Rockets start their journey on the launch pad, powered by immense engines. These aren't your ordinary engines, mind you. Imagine the force of a thousand sports cars all pushing in one direction. That's the kind of power we're dealing with here. It's a titanic battle between the rocket and Earth's gravity. A tug of war where the rocket is desperately trying to break free from the chains of our planet. Now you might be wondering how exactly does a rocket do this? Well, that's where the concept of thrust comes into play. Thrust is the force that propels the rocket upwards. You can think of it as the rocket's best friend, helping it to rise against the formidable force of gravity. It's like trying to push a boulder uphill. The more force you apply, the faster you can push it. In rocket science, this force is provided by the fiery expulsion of gases from the rocket's engines. But merely going up isn't enough. The rocket needs to go up at a certain speed to break free from Earth's gravitational pull. This speed is known as the escape velocity. It's like running so fast on a treadmill that you eventually fly off it. For a rocket, that's the goal, to fly off the Earth's gravitational treadmill. So, in essence, the launch of a rocket is a drama of power and speed, a grand performance where the leading roles are played by the engines and the fuel they burn. The key is generating enough thrust to reach the escape velocity, the speed needed to break free from Earth's gravitational pull. As the rocket ascends, it goes through stages. Each of these stages is a distinct part of the journey, a calculated step in the grand dance of defying gravity. Picture it as a multi-stage firework, where each burst propels the rocket further and faster, driving it towards the stars. The first few stages of the rocket are primarily concerned with escaping the densest part of Earth's atmosphere. They burn their fuel at an astonishing rate, generating enough thrust to lift the rocket, its payload, and all the fuel needed for the journey. Once their fuel tanks are empty, they've served their purpose. They detach and fall back to Earth, lightening the load for the remaining stages. Now we arrive at the final stage. This is the part of the journey where the magic truly happens. The rocket is now high above the Earth, where the air is thin and gravity is weak. The final stage has one job, and one job only, to achieve orbital velocity. Orbital velocity is a fancy way of saying the speed required to keep the rocket moving in a circular path around the Earth, instead of falling back down or shooting straight off into space. It's a delicate balance, a sweet spot between too slow and too fast. The final stage is crucial, as it needs to achieve orbital velocity, the speed required to enter and stay in orbit around Earth. It's the culmination of years of planning, months of calculations, and minutes of heart-stopping action. And when it's done right, it's nothing short of spectacular. Once the desired orbit is reached, it's time for the satellite deployment. This is the moment when the satellite, after hitching a ride with the rocket, separates and begins its own independent journey in the vast expanse of space. Picture it as a passenger disembarking from a vehicle ready to explore new horizons. The separation process is a finely tuned ballet, executed with precision to ensure the satellite is released at the correct angle and velocity. It's crucial that the satellite embarks on its path without colliding with the rocket or any other space debris. And once the separation is successful, the satellite is on its own, ready to carry out its mission, be it weather monitoring, communication or scientific exploration. Now, the satellite doesn't just float aimlessly in space, it starts orbiting the Earth, bound by the invisible strings of gravity. You might wonder how it manages to stay in orbit without falling back to Earth. Well, that's the magic of orbital mechanics. The satellite is essentially falling towards the Earth due to gravity. But here's the twist. It's also moving forward fast enough to miss it. Imagine throwing a ball so hard that it keeps missing the ground. That's what's happening with the satellite. It's a delicate balance between the satellite's velocity, its speed in a given direction, and the pull of Earth's gravity. 
Satellites stay in orbit due to the balance between their velocity and Earth's gravity, constantly falling towards Earth but never actually reaching it because of their forward motion. Understanding orbits is all about balance. Just like a tightrope walker, a satellite must maintain a perfect equilibrium to stay aloft. But instead of balancing on a rope, satellites balance between two forces, velocity and gravity. Imagine a satellite moving in a lower orbit. Here, Earth's gravitational pull is stronger, so the satellite needs to move at a faster speed to stay in orbit. It's akin to a sprinter running fast on a short track. On the other hand, a satellite in a higher orbit experiences a weaker gravitational pull. It doesn't need to move as quickly to stay in orbit. It's more like a marathon runner pacing themselves for a long race. Now what happens if the satellite goes too fast or too slow? If it's too fast, it might break away from Earth's gravity and venture into deep space. If it's too slow, Earth's gravity might pull it back, causing it to plummet towards the Earth. So, it's a constant game of push and pull. The satellite falls toward Earth under gravity, but its forward motion keeps it falling over the horizon. This creates the circular or elliptical path we call an orbit. This delicate dance between speed and gravity is what keeps satellites in orbit, providing us with essential data and services. Whether it's for communication, navigation or weather forecasting, the science behind orbits plays a crucial role in our daily lives. So, there you have it. We've journeyed from the launch pad to the vast reaches of space, understanding how rockets defy gravity, how they reach orbit, and the delicate dance of speed and gravity that keeps satellites in their paths. It's a marvel of human achievement, a testament to our thirst for knowledge and our ability to push boundaries. The incredible journey of rockets from Earth to orbit is a testament to human ingenuity and the fascinating laws of physics. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic adventure.